What's up, tubers? Hey, uh, I think I know it all. <laughs> Don't you love when people say that? I think I know it all, finally, about this oyster shell scale that is killing our aspens. The University of Utah has put out a really good link, uh, PDF, whatever you call it, on this with uh, some suggestions. And it seems like it's uh, the best one that I've read yet. And it's kind of where all of my homework has come back to. So I'll have that link up there in the description above. Make sure you click on that and print it out because it, and read it. It's got a lot of stuff that's going to repeat what I'm going to say. Uh, oyster shell scale left unattended is going to kill your trees. Plain and simple. There's nothing else I can say about that. It is deadly. If you've got it and your trees are already damaged, the odds are your trees are not going to come back. Sorry, it's sad, it's pathetic. But if you're at an early stage or you got some trees that are at an early stage or even, and I'm thinking for 10 years from now, after all the trees you got now, it takes 10 years for them to die, all the little roots and seedlings coming up. We need to get the scale out of our yard and out of our trees' lives for good. So all the tree companies and Pesticides and the insecticide people are out trying to sell you shit and they're trying to sell you a spraying. And they don't know where or when or what they're doing. So, for example, today, Moxie, they're hitting the neighborhood hard on segways. They're professional salesmen. They're trying to close and sell something and they're on the phone texting to their sales manager or the owner of the company to find out exact stuff and what to. <laughs> and uh, a price and a thing to sell. Uh, long story short, you know, they're like, oh, well, we can try this, uh, do it quarterly, or a one-time spray, or we can do it every month if you're really nervous. <laughs> and like, well, they might shrink. So as I'm rambling on, I will put pictures of uh, that I just took today from various trees of mine that have the scale on them. Uh... And then some trees that are in my scrapyard pile that have already been totaled out and branches that are dead that are fully covered in the scale. So the crawlers, which are the babies from the eggs, are active for about 10 days a year. They're saying late May to early June. The question is, depending on your altitude, your temperature, where you are in the lineage of the sun going over, that your day and your time and your 10 days is going to be different than someone in another part. So, for example, I'm at 7,000 feet in Park City. It's 10 degrees cooler here on any given day, on any day of the year, than Salt Lake, which is at 3,000 feet. So the flyer says, you know, certain dates. But they say you can see these crawlers. I've never been able to see them. I can't see my fingernails from this far away without glasses. So maybe some young kids or with a magnifying glass might be able to see them. But you got to be proactive and be out there seeing them. If you can find the crawlers, that's the best time to get it. Horticulture spray, which is the least expensive. It's basically just mineral oil. I'll put a link uh, up there to it also. There's all kinds of things and ways to get it, but that's one way do your own homework uh, if you can spray that on the crawlers you'll kill the crawlers there's another thing that I've read and I saw it today it's on the University of Utah link it says if you spray the insecticide herbicide pesticide whatever safari in early May again early May up here is different than early May in Salt Lake City because of the altitude differences but if you spray that, that that will work as an uh, insecticide. And then it goes on and lists other things that just flat out don't work. What pisses me off the most is these tree guys, uh, Bucket Greenleaf, Park City. He comes by, he didn't know shit, and he sells me something. He goes, oh, it's very expensive, yada, 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 safari. And he's spraying it on in September. <laughs> Saying, well, yeah, yeah, it, it won't hurt. 
fuck, he's just making a sale. Pissed me off. I mean, they got no ethics. The Tim at Park City Tree, same thing. Spraying different times of year, get you on a quarterly, quarterly spraying thing. Uh, same thing with Moxie. They're trying to sell me something. I don't know what the name was. Uh, on a quarterly spray thing. I think that was the first time they ever heard of oyster shell scale on Aspens. So read those links, do your homework, and uh, I hope this helps, man. If you got comments, uh, other links, other solutions, success stories is what I'm really looking for, man. Uh, please comment down below, share this, forward this, uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe over there. Wishes luck, right? <laughs> See ya.